Disturbing new details in a Columbus rape over the weekend, police say the attacker used surgical tubing to tie up his victim. NBC4 has learned that the suspect has a long criminal history as a sex offender. He was in court this morning on charges of kidnapping and rape. The alleged attack happened over the weekend at Sayota Audubon Metro Park, just south of downtown Columbus. Tonight, the suspect remains in jail here in Franklin County. NBC4's Ted Hart live there tonight with more on what we're learning about the suspect's criminal history. Ted. Yeah, Mark, park rangers spotted David Shear and the victim here at the park about 9 o'clock uh, Saturday morning. David Shear has been a registered sex offender in Ohio for more than 15 years, but keeping up with him and keeping up with where he lives has been a challenge. David Shearer's criminal record of sex offenses goes back to 1988 in California when he sexually assaulted a woman with a knife. This past Saturday, rangers at Audubon Park found Shearer in the tall grass with a naked woman. He claims it was consensual. The victim tells a different story. She was choked, forced to disrobe, and her hands were bound with surgical tubing. Shearer is on the Ohio sex offender database, but since 2002, he has been charged with failing to properly register his address five times and was convicted of gross sexual imposition in 2016. We found in one instance he wrote a letter pleading with the judge to not send him back to prison. Please, just one last chance out there. His record, though, shows with each new chance he reoffends. The criminal complaint lists his address as the streets of Columbus. We have a population of anywhere between 90 to 100 homeless sex offenders in Franklin County on any given day. Lieutenant Andy Eying at the Franklin County Sheriff's Office says homeless sex offenders like Shearer are a challenge to keep track of, adding that the system puts the burden on the sex offenders to let the Sheriff's Office know exactly where they are staying. Whether they go from a house to homeless or from a homeless to a house or a house to house, it's their, their duty to notify us immediately that they've changed addresses. And bond for David Shearer was set at $500,000 this morning. He is scheduled for another court appearance on March 20th. Local for you in Columbus, Ted Hart, NBC4.